Nahum, Nahum, one. The burden of Nineveh, the sefer, of the vision of Nahum, the Elohashi. El is jealous, and Yahuwah revenges. Yahuwah revenges and is furious. Yahuwah will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserves wrath for his enemies. Yahuwah is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahuwah has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry and dries up all the rivers. Bashan languishes and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languishes. The mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Yahuwah is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do ye imagine against El Yahuwah? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. For while they be folden together as thorns, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry. There is one come out of you that imagines evil against Yahuwah, a wicked counselor. Thus says Yahuwah, though they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down when he shall pass through. Though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more, for now will I break his yoke from off you, and will burst your bonds in sunder. And Yahuwah has given a commandment concerning you, that no more of your name be so sown. Out of the house of your Elohim will I cut off graven image and the molten image. I will make your grave, for you are vile. Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him that brings good news, that publishes peace. O Yahuda, keep your solemn feasts, perform your vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through you. He is utterly cut off.